Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and um, thanks for clicking on this video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about all things shoes and braces and everything in between. So stay tuned. <laughs> We're going to be talking about something that has always been a struggle for me that will continue to be a struggle and that is shoes okay and that is also one of my favorite things to shop for so my shoes have always been a struggle for me um partly because my issues with me being in a wheelchair and then um Having to wear kid size and it is so hard to find my size. And also, my feet are also wide. My whole family is like that too. So it's not just me. But that is another part of it. So, um, it's always easier for me to find shoes I like. In my mom, in like the women's section, but obviously they don't fit me, so I can't get them. So I have a couple pair of shoes with me to show you what works and what doesn't work, and I also brought my braces that um, I used to wear at school. Oh, and also, um, wedges don't work because they make my um, feet look funky. And heels don't work because they don't fit me usually. Even the little kids, um, the little kitten heels don't work on me because of my foot rest. Again, it's all things. Oh, and if you guys can buy, if you guys know, like, where I could get um, custom shoes, let me know. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, but as far as we know, we don't know of any places near us. And the hard part is I don't want um, uh, um, to, I want to have fashionable shoes and not out of style shoes and not frumpy looking shoes. So, and now to our shoes. So these, these, both of these shoes are, um, Cat and Jack. Um, but the beating on this is kind of a little painful for me to wear it like long. Um, long, um, long periods of time. You can see how many toes are, like, close to If you don't like toes, do not watch this video. Or, like, fast forward through this part. My toes are kind of, like, squished and, like, curved. And I do have toe separators for that. Gotta get on to wearing those again. But, um, I like these. These are... Somewhat comfortable, but I think we're gonna just we just got these um not too long ago, like a week ago. But I think we're gonna have to stretch. I think we're gonna have to stretch these out a bit, just to give my feet a little bit of um room. Which these are super cute though. I do like them, and they look very comfy so I like them for that yeah and these are pretty good too or the black ones these are, these are my absolute favorite ones they're comfortable and they don't slip off on my feet oh a key part of not slipping on my feet are the best 
they have to have a bag. I can't wear um, flip flops. What is it called? Or slip on for that reason. And they keep my feet in. These are also very comfortable. And um, they also have the the toe thong or the sub toe separator, which I've gotten used to. Each time I get new shoes, I have to get used to each um, toe separator. Some are more comfortable than others. So that's another thing I wanted to. But these are the the American Eagle. I'm looking at the brand. So for these, my sister is getting married in the fall. And her... So we were looking for wedding shoes for me. And I found these at Target.com. Um, we are going to have to exchange them, but they are super cute. We are planning on exchanging these for a different size. But yeah, I think they're super cute and very fashionable. And I think they'll eventually work for a realtor. But they are um, very um, narrow. So we're going to do a size up and go from there. So yeah, these are my favorite though. So when I was in school, I used to have to wear toe spacers to combat my feet issue. And these are the toe spacers that I would have to wear. And my mom would have to put these on my feet. Um, these are very comfortable. So if your kid um, has foot issues and has to wear brace, braces um, or toe issues, these are a cheap option. Um, but what my mom would have to do is put these on me and then put the socks on. Put the socks on and then the braces because the socks would hold it into place. These are like one or two dollars, just so you guys know. And I'll try to link them below. But now, I like these a lot better because they don't, these are like a sock kind of thing. I know, so descriptive, aren't I? I know. But they have like a sock thing. I like a lot better, but they are also two people to put on you instead of one. These are my second pair of um, toe spacers. They are very helpful. I should actually start wearing them again so that my feet are um, the most comfortable. And for both pairs, I just want to say one thing because I know I was a little kid. That was... Um, you do forget them they're on, um, once you get, uh, busy, but, uh, if, because I, I was so against my toe spacers, but then school started, and then I didn't have time to think about it, I was more focused on my classes and all on that. So yeah, and the same thing. So if you have a kid that's like that, but then other you'll you'll forget about it eventually. Then you'll then you're gonna have to then the next thing you know is you're gonna take them off and you're gonna be Oh yeah. I forgot those were on today. Okay, so these are the ones I wear when I'm not wearing braces. Yeah, and that's all I have to say about that on those. Now, um, these shoes are the shoes that I had to wear with braces. Um, hold on, let me, let me see if I can get my fingers to work. Okay, so my right foot is shorter than the other. If you want to find out more, um, Go look up my medical. I have a video talking about all my surgeries and all my um, treatments. 
go look that up and go into more detail with that one. Um, I can link, I can link in the cards. So we also had to. Oh, we did not do them in this pair. So we would have to take out the soles of the shoes to bring up more to to uh, to give more more leeway with the braces because you guys know braces are not very um flexible yeah so i would always wear um tennis shoes with my braces so these are my braces that i wear or um, wore and they actually do a casting uh a casting of each foot and then the top brakes that are made you can see they are not very flexible so that's why we had to do um take out the soles to give them more room yeah and I would have to wear my country and just oh hold on these are like the also I wore like long socks. I actually think these are diab. Don't quote me on it, but I think these are diabetics. Um, diabetic socks. I don't know, doctor. I don't know. Um, yeah, orthodontist. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I would uh, for my country, for me being so country, just I would always put wear jeans over my braces because I don't like how they look with the whole with the straps. Oh I should do a um like um tips from brace wear slash oh, yeah. um like medical like uh medical things like yeah, let me know if you guys would like that, and like, because I have tips and tricks for every surgery. Let me know or what I would do differently. Um, like, yeah, let me know if you would like that. And sorry, Maddie's actually typing that up right now. Oh, and my burst guy. Um, always did a smart thing. He would always, um, tell my mom to put it on for, like, a half. The first day would be, uh, like, build up the time so that your, your feet are not shocked by the first day and, like, they're not sore. Yeah, so, like, and the first day would be like a half an hour. The second day would be two hours. And then the third day would be four hours. So like build up the time and that one that gives your body your feet and braces enough time to adjust to each other. And there's also I me mean, like sometimes you're also gonna have red spots for with braces. Put um sheepskin on those. It helps you not get. It's like a cushion thing. But um, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to um keep on rolling. And if you guys have any other video suggestions. Let me know how I'm on a girl out.